have important crews are putting up barriers on the street after yesterday's rain. News 8's Jonathan Ketz is joining us live to explain how the rain is affecting people all over the Quad Cities. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning there, Julia. Yeah, we're actually at one of the spots where crews are putting up these barriers right now. River Drive in Pershing, and I'm going to walk. Um, we are in a little bit of water right now here, right on the curb here. But as I walk a little bit further into the street, folks, take a look at this. I'm probably in about, oh, I would say five inches of water, kind of like what we were seeing at Modern Woodman Park just off to the west of us. And Drew, I'm going to get out of the way. Look at this, folks. This is River Drive in Pershing. These are crews who just got here about 15 minutes ago. Uh, we just got in their way here at River Drive in Pershing as they are sinking out and trying to pump out some of this water here that is at the intersection, then off uh, to the south. Take a look at that. Some of the uh, flood barriers that are already up here at 530 in the morning. There are many people still, of course, outside of downtown still fishing out that rainwater from their basements. One woman we spoke to says she found three feet of water in her basement on Thursday. Many people like her, her name's Dawn Kerr, have purchased some pumps, but that hasn't worked out too well so far. And many of the neighbors will spend the rest of the day cleaning, fishing out more things from their basement like they did Thursday. All right, the good thing is at Duck Creek right now, the waters there are supposed to start receding. However, as for the Mississippi River, closer to where we're at right now, the waters here not supposed to start receding until tomorrow. Uh, no word yet on how long River Drive will be closed. Julie, that's the very latest. We'll send it back on over to you. All right, we appreciate that. Thanks so much, Jonathan. Crews are asking you to use Locust Street to get back to River Drive. We have a list of the detour routes at our website, WQAD.com. Just search for the River Drive Flood Protection Story. In Moline, the